P-I-M-E-S-O-F-I-N-D-I-A-COM, updated June 1, 2018, 2330 IST New Delhi, the Z Media Group has sent a legal notice for defamation to the Cobra Post over a purported sting, namely, Operation 136E, published on its website. The group has also sent legal notices to three other media platforms, The Wire, The Quentin Bottas 4 Media, for publishing news articles related to the Cobra Post operation on their web portals. The legal notice to Cobra Post website calls the so-called sting operation a planned conspiracy and a set of self-serving, false, fabricated and baseless piece of writing which in itself is based on tampered, doctored and edited recordings. The notice has been issued to Cobra Post Operator, its founder editor Anaruta Bahal and reporter Push P. Sharma. Read also, Cobra Post journalist was arrested in 2009 for staging fake accidents and extorting money from policemen. The impugned press release and purported sting operation contains deliberate and fraudulent misinterpretations and presents a heavily concocted and fabricated version of the actual facts, the legal notice says. The notice say that Cobra Post has not only deliberately and fraudulently edited, tampered and fabricated the recorded videos, but has also used false and incorrect information to project a hyped and concocted story, which is far from the truth. Notice adds that by fabricating the video and prefixing and suffixing the actual conversation on the subject with trivial out-of-context conversations, a deliberate attempt has been made to disrepute the client for ulterior motives. The Z Group through the notice has asked the Cobra Post website to immediately remove all articles related to the so-called sting operation, tender an unconditional apology in writing and stop any further recirculation, republishing or reproduction of the defamatory content. It warns Cobra Post of civil and criminal proceedings, including monetary damages, in case the website fails to comply with the terms of the legal notice. Click to read the complete legal notice to C-O-B-R-A-P-O-S-T The legal notice to The Wire refers to two articles published on the website on May 26, 2018 and May 28, 2018, based on the so-called sting operation by Cobra Post. The deliberate manner in which you the notices have carried out the story in question by publishing the impugned articles makes it abundantly clear that you the notices have failed to act as per the principles of journalistic ethics and have only exhibited your biased and prejudiced mindset against our client for ulterior motives, says the notice. It appears that the impugned articles containing defamatory contents have been electronically published by you the notices with the specific knowledge and intention to defame our client by making totally malicious, false, incorrect and defamatory allegations against our client, the notice reads. As a neutral media house, you are expected to ponder upon the legitimacy of such alleged sting operations as claimed to be genuine by said Mr. Push P. Sharma, who had a tainted track record, the notice says. Click to read the complete legal notice sent to The Wire. The legal notice to The Quint refers to two articles published by the portal on May 26, 2018 and May 27, 2018. It says the portal published the impugned articles without verifying the facts of the case and thereby creating a false and wrong impression about the Z Group and its officers in the eyes of the general public. The legal notice says the Quint completely ignored a report done by Z News Channel on March 31, 2018 to expose the reality and intent of Cobra Post Push P. Sharma and his illegal acts but glorified his concocted, false and fabricated story aimed at concealing his own legal actions. This shows your agenda-driven journalism and discloses your mala fighty intentions against our client, says the legal notice. Click to read the complete legal notice sent to The Quint. The legal notice to Bodice 4 Media refers to the article published on the web portal on May 28, 2018 on the basis of a purported sting operation by Push P. Sharma. Any lay person who would have taken basic care of watching the entire recording before reproducing by way of publication or broadcasting them would have known that the drift and essence of the conversation in the 
actual stand taken by our client and its officers during the purported sting operation are entirely different from the way it is being shown and projected in the so-called sting operation, the notice says. Red also, Cobra posts sting on media groups based on doctored content and falsification The legal notice cites a report done by the Z group against Push P Sharma and Cobra post and carried by the web. Portal bought us for media and says, It is shocking to see how you the notice is chose to still glorify and report his concocted, false and fabricated story aimed at concealing his own legal actions. Such an act on the part of you the notices further shows your agenda-driven journalism and discloses your apparent malafide intentions against our client. Click to read the complete legal notice sent to BHADAS 4 MEDIA. The legal notice asks the three web portals to immediately remove all articles related to the so-called sting operation and tender an unconditional apology failing which Z Group would initiate civil and criminal proceedings, including seeking monetary damages from them. The so-called Cobra Post sting operation was conducted by journalist Push P. Sharma, who posed as one Acharya Chaturpal Adil and claimed he was linked to various Saffron groups. This is the same Push P. Sharma who was arrested by Delhi police in May 2016 for fabricating an RTI reply to publish a report claiming the government was discriminating against Muslims in recruitment of yoga trainers by the AYUSH ministry. He was at that time booked for cheating, forgery and promoting enmity between different groups. He was also arrested by Delhi police in 2009 for extorting money from government officials after staging road accidents and carrying out fake sting operations. More specifically, he was caught red-handed by a Delhi police raiding party on the 17th of November 2009 while receiving 10,000 rupees cash as extortion amount from a police head constable. According to a Delhi police statement issued on the 22nd of November 2009, he and his co-accused confessed that they had conducted several similar sting operations in the past for extorting money from policemen. Red also, India Today Group sends legal notice to Cobra Post Get Latest News. Download the Times of India News app for your device. Read more India news in English and other languages. Related tire of spice jet flight bursts ahead of takeoff, none hurt farmer stir poses a big test for BJP in 2018 assembly poll SJ.